Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to talk about a formula that is used to, for permutations of n distinct objects. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, when we're talking about permutations, we're talking about the ordering of objects. We've discussed that in prior videos. Now, one other thing I need to talk about before I share with you the actual formula for determining the permutation for indistinct objects is the ideal of the factorial. So this factorial here, and it's easier to see it with an example. So if I have three factorial, what this literally means in mathematics is three times two times one. In other words, when you're dealing with the factorial, you take all the numbers that are all the integers, excuse me, all the integers that are equal to the original number and that are less than it. Okay, only the integers, not decimals or anything like that. So when we're talking about three factorial, here's the thing. We know that three is equal to three, and they're both integers. We know two is less than three, and they're both integers, and we know one is less than three, and they're both integers. That's how that works when you're dealing with factorials. So if I do something like four factorial, well now we know, well the first number is gonna be equal to that, to the integer, which is gonna be four, times three, which is less than, times two, times one. And that's how it works for all numbers that involve into, uh, excuse me, factorials. Now, having said that, I want to share with you the actual formula for determining the permutations. And so in our case here, the actual formula is as follows. It's going to be P, which is permutations, times, or not times, but you know, inside this is going to be n uh, r equals, oh, excuse me, got to close that out, whoa, close that out, it's going to equal n, n factorial over the quantity of n minus r factorial. Now you're probably wondering what is n and what is r. n is the total number of objects. The total number of objects. R is the selected objects. In other words, the how many you want to you know put in the groups that you're you're selecting. And so this is kind of how it works. Now I'm sharing with you the formula first because in this particular situation I think it's clearer to see the formula and then to see an example. So having said that, let's take a look at an example, but I'm gonna put this back up here in R. That's an R, trust me n factorial over, oh, that's that's an n factorial, n minus r factorial. So let's give you an example. So let's say, as an example, that I have six people. So six people, and I want to select any three people. So select three people. So in this particular situation, trust me, that's a p. <laughs> in this particular situation, my answer is going to be as follows. So it's going to be permutation again. My n is 6. That's how many total people I have. My r is 3. That's how many I'm, I'm selecting. And so it's going to be something like this. It's going to be 6 factorial over 6 minus 3 factorial. Now, when we work this out, it's going to be 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then in the bottom, it's going to be, well, 6 minus 3 is 3. So 3 whoops go two one like that and then you probably know that you know some of these numbers in the bottom cancel out cancel cancel so we're left with six times five times four that's going to equal 120. so there are 120 different ways that i can arrange six people when i only select three of them that is how that works so you can see this is mostly just basic mathematics there's nothing really complicated here you just have to be familiar with what they want. Now, let's take a look at the next one here. We have one more example. And so in this example, we have a family of seven. So family, seven people, and we want to select five of these people. That is what we want to do. So if we were to work this out, I'm, I'm sure you're getting the, the idea of how to do this, hopefully. You can see that it's as follows, permutation, my n is seven, that's the total number of, of objects I can select, five, that's how many objects I want to select each time, equals seven factorial over seven minus five factorial. 
So if I were to work this out, I would do seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. You could probably tell I don't need to put the one. I'm just trying to be thorough for people who may not be as comfortable with mathematics. And then in the bottom, we have seven minus five. So that's going to be two. So we're going to have two, one, like that. So now we just do some basic uh, crossing off here. So we get rid of this two and we get rid of this one. And so we're left with seven times six times five times four times three. And so if I were to put that in the calculator, seven times six times five times four times three, we get the answer of 2,520. So out of a family of seven, if I select any five of them, the, there are 2,520 different distinct combinations, or you can call them permutations, of this particular uh, instance. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of recap what we discussed and conclude the video. So in this video, we talked about the, the uh, formula for permutations of indistinct objects. And so first we started by talking about, okay, well, what is the factorial? I kind of talked about that a little bit. And then we talked about what the N and the R represent in the actual formula. The N represents the total number of objects you have. The R represents how many you're selecting. And so you use that information to calculate your actual answer. And so here in this particular slide, we did our first example. We had a total of six people and we wanted to select three of them. And so you can see here on the screen how we did that, not that complicated, and we finished it. And then right here, we did a second problem. This time we had seven total objects and we were gonna select five of them at a time. And you can see that our answer was, you know, quite larger, but we're dealing with larger numbers here. So that's why that happened. So I hope this video was useful for you. And I thank you for watching. My name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Take care.